Oddly enough, I think the primary threat to this thesis is a surge in confidence that leads to a spike in inflation and interest rates, makes the Fed active, and that spooks investors. All right, so we talked a little bit in the beginning about the thesis where urbanization is really driving dramatic prosperity gains on the planet, and I'm going to talk a little bit about that and then bring Ajay to talk more about it. So currently, to put things in perspective, the world population is 7 billion people, okay? 3.6 billion of those live in cities. You know, the remainder live on farms. The world population in 2050 will actually be more than 9 billion people, and 70% of those people will live in cities, okay? So the urban population on the planet over the next 40 years or so will double. Here's why this is a big deal. If you're highly urbanized, you're typically highly affluent as well. So there's a very positive correlation here. Let's take the United States of America. The United States of America is about 80% urbanized. Our per capita GDP here in the United States, I'm so sorry for that, our per capita GDP here in the United States is about $40,000 a head. All right? The fastest urbanizing nations on the planet are China and India. China is about 50% urbanized, India is about 30% urbanized, and they're urbanizing rapidly. And as they move up the x-axis, they're clearly going to move up the y-axis as well. And they're doing it very quickly. So this is a great chart. This is a chart that asks, how long does it take a nation to double its per capita GDP? So it took Britain, you know, 154 years to do it. It took the United States of America and the Industrial Revolution to double per capita GDP from $1,300 a head to $2,600 a head in 53 years. Germany did it in 65 years. Well, India's done it in 16, and China's done it in 12. But it's not just dramatic gains at the low end. It's at the high end as well. In China today, there are 1.6 million millionaires. More than there are in Japan, more than there are in the UK, more than there are in Germany, second only to the US. And while that's impressive, it's not nearly impressive as the number of billionaires. So between 2001 and 2011, the US added 131 billionaires. Perry, did I do my math right? Okay, Perry's my mathematician. So 131 billionaires were added between 2001 and 2011. In China, they added 279. And they started with one. Isn't that awesome? I tear up a little bit. And so more affluence, right, leads to more consumption. And so going back to 2009, middle class people on the planet spend about $21 trillion. Asia is 23% of that. Ten years later in 2020, middle class people spend $35 trillion. 80 is 42% of that. And then looking out into 2030, Middle class folks are spending $56 trillion, and by the way, Asia is 59% of that expenditure. What a tremendous opportunity, right? But it's not just great for us, it's great for entrepreneurs as well. And so I went back and found a study that my old alma mater, Babson, put out that just does a survey of entrepreneurial activity on the planet. Fascinating. Maybe I don't want it, I'll email it to you. Um, but what I found in there is that the early stage entrepreneurial activity in the developing nations right now outpaces what's happening here in the United States of America. Pretty amazing. So we have this opinion of ourselves that we're the only innovators on the planet. We're the only entrepreneurs on the planet. You know, we invented Google and Facebook and other really meaningful things. Um, but that's really not the case. So I will wrap by saying this. The urbanization trend is hugely powerful and it presents tremendous investment opportunities, right? Well, as you know, we're macro people, so we have to identify people capable of capitalizing on those opportunities for us. And we believe deeply that we've done that. And I want to tell you that uh, Ajay is about to make some comments about some companies that he's seen around the planet that are amazing. Rather than read his bio, I thought I'd share with you a video of Ajay and his team in action.